Hey INFPs, in today's video we're talking about what you can do in order to feel happier and healthier. So what can you do as an INFP to experience the magical state known as the flow state? Okay, so first, before we get into this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe and to check out my other videos on INFPs. And yes, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, the first thing you want to master as an INFP is the pendulum effect. So if you want to feel happy and healthy, you'll have to recognize the law of uh, changes and opposition and the dance of opposites because here's the thing um, you're not going to be happy every day you're not going to be sad every day you're going to most likely move from state to state and that's what it is to be healthy a healthy person is not always happy but is able to be sad but is able to be sad in a healthy manner so the question is rather how to create an amicity in your life and how to live a meaningful life so that you feel that you do the right thing and so that you feel that you're a good person and so that you feel that you can bear any stress or any difficulties on the way. Anything is possible when you have motivation and when you feel inspired. So let's talk about what INFPs need to do in order to feel consistently motivated and inspired. Starting with nurturing your introverted feeling. The first thing you'll want to know is that you are being true to yourself and that you are living a life that is authentic, honest. That's the most important thing, really, as an INFP. You have to learn to live a life that is authentic and honest, and you have to find a way to express yourself in everything you do. No matter what your career is, no matter what your work is, no matter who you're with, if you can find creative ways to express yourself in any situation and how you feel and what you value and what is important to you, that's your best starting point. That's what you should always be working from, and that means learning to swing into you know, your own innate uh, identity and to learn to develop a stronger sense of your identity. The stronger your sense of identity, the stronger your scope of awareness and willpower. So that means challenging yourself to learn as much as possible about yourself. You know, that's kind of what you're doing now, right? You're watching videos to learn about yourself and every video teaches you something. And while you watch my videos, you go like, yeah, that's me. And no, nah, that's not me. So. It's that process of getting to know yourself by going out and having experiences, but also taking time to self-reflect. So go out and meet people and go out and go inside and think about, you know, was that me and was I true to myself in that situation and could I have done something differently? And what are my values and what's my ethical compass and what do my feelings tell me? You know, that state of self-conversation and self-dialogue is really important for you to feel flow as an INFP. So have self-dialogue, have a self-dialogue in the sense of, you know, talk to yourself, inside yourself, meditate, reflect, and have these kind of conversations about what you want, what your goals are in life, where you're headed, what kind of people you like, uh, what you've done in this week, you know, and what kind of things you liked about what you did this week and what kind of things you'd like to do differently. You know, like these kind of processes to get you to really know and to feel in touch with and to in tune with yourself. All of these things will give you a stronger sense of meaning so that no matter what you do, no matter where you are, you know yourself, you know what you're doing and you know that what you do is an extension of who you are. Now, contrastingly, Surprisingly, you know, you're going to sometimes find yourself in difficult situations. So you're going to have to get a job, you know, you're going to have to uh, put yourself in challenging environments. You're going to have to do things you don't like. You're going to have to sometimes act outside your own moral code and identity. You're going to have to take on a role in a group that it's not really you and it's not really what you want to do. And those things are going to happen. And so being able to know that you can step into these situations but being able to know that that's not you is really important the goal is not to always 100 percent be yourself in every single situation but to always be aware what is your mask and what is your true self so to know that you know uh, what i do in this group or with these people is my mask or my persona what i do for my boss or my employees or for my co-workers for money that's what I do for them, not for myself. So to know the difference between your mask and your personal identity. Everyone has a persona and a social identity. Everyone has a mask. The most important thing is that you own your own mask. And you own your own definition. And you choose for yourself how you want to come across and what role you want in what situation. 
The third is, I'd say, allowing yourself to have secrets and especially allowing yourself to have healthy secrets. There are so many great things that INFPs do that nobody knows about. You know, INFPs are and should learn to have and nurture healthy uh, secret identities, you know, to have things you do for yourself just because you like yourself and care for yourself. So learning those kind of things are super important as an INFP. Um, the fourth thing I'd say that you want to know, do as an INFP is to consistently challenge yourself in an appropriate manner by constantly allowing a steady stream of extroverted intuition. That means constantly uh, push yourself to go into new situations, to meet new people and to do new things. The truth is you might feel like, you know, no, that's not me and that's not who I am, you know. And you might hold on to, you know, a limiting idea of yourself and who you are. And the truth is, you know, the only way for you to really know if that's really you is by going out and testing that. So you need to constantly experiment with your self-expression and try new things. And that means you need to allow yourself to have a slightly fluctuating identity. So as an INFP, what you want to do is you want to hold on to and you want to be rooted in yourself and who you are, but you also want to be open to learn new things about yourself. Know that you don't know everything about yourself. And so put yourself in new situations that allow you to find out new things about yourself that you didn't really know before. These are the four components that I'd say that are key for an INFP to have flow and happiness. Uh, let me know what you do to feel flow as an INFP in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.